Hey guys, John Rettinger with John4Lakers.com here with a very special unboxing of the new MacBook that was released yesterday, October 14th. Here it is, the specs on this particular model. It's a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo with two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, 13.3 inch uh, widescreen display, the NVIDIA GeForce 9400 graphics processor, with 256 megabytes shared, and that's a 250 gigabyte hard drive spinning at 5400 RPMs. It's got a built-in iSight video camera, eight speed slot loading super drive, two USB ports, mini display port, 802.11n, the rest of that stuff you see in the MacBook, uh, in addition to a backlit keyboard. So let me go ahead and show you the box here, and then we'll get to the unboxing. Size of this box is tiny. I mean, you really can see how small it is. Um, I'll compare the size with an iPhone 3G box so you guys can really, can really get a sense of how small it really is. Let me just readjust the camera here. So here's the MacBook box. Here's the iPhone 3G box. You really see it's about twice the size and thickness wise it's almost exactly as thick. Uh, maybe just a little bit more. So it really is a tiny box. Apple definitely has saved a lot of packaging and waste this way. So let me show you the box before I uh, go ahead and open it up. This is MacBook on the front, 13.3 inch LED backlit widescreen notebook. Got your black handle, list the specs right there. On the side, it tells you it's got iLife 08 pre installed, the advanced NVIDIA integrated graphics, and the precision aluminum unibody enclosure. Picture of the MacBook on the back. Apple logo on the side, the front again, and then just the SKU and all the rebate stuff, if there was one, would be on the back here. Just barcodes and all that kind of stuff. So this is my first laptop since I sold my MacBook Pro about four months ago. I did it in anticipation of this. I need a laptop for graduate school. I'm uh, currently enrolled. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up for you. Obligatory big knife. I'm very excited. I actually haven't even seen one of these in person yet. I was the first one in the Apple Store to uh, to buy one on the West Coast, or at least in uh, my store. I didn't even have that on display yet. All right, so we broke the seal. Let's put this down here. Open it up. And it looks very similar to what the MacBook Air box looks like. There's a thin layer of... Nice. Not styrofoam, but uh, cushioning uh, up top there. You can see how thick it is right there. And the computer is sitting right here in this tray with the tab that you just pull up, similar to the Air. Wow. This is a small computer. Uh, I'm actually shocked at how thin it is. And just on first impressions, again, this is my first time ever really seeing one or holding one in person, it feels very sturdy. So I'll walk you through this in a minute. Let's go ahead and put it aside and see what else is in the box. So here's the tab. We'll go ahead and pull that up and lift this piece straight up. And sitting inside of the box here, you've got your MagSafe adapter. Everybody's seen with the uh, extender cable. And then right here is your documentation. Now, surprisingly, it actually does not say designed by Apple in California on this. Open it up, everything Mac, everything else, all your documentation and install CDs. Put this back, back in the tray here. Let's take a look at the computer itself. So it's wrapped in, wrapped in plastic, as you guys can see, and I'll give you a walkthrough of it. On the front, there is the magnet latch everybody's familiar with on the MacBook. On the right side of the device is your slot loading, uh, I believe the eight time burning super drive. On the back, nothing. On the old MacBooks, the speakers used to be here. I wonder where the speakers are on the new one. We'll have to find that out. And here are the ports everyone's been talking about. So your MagSafe, your gigabit ethernet, two USB ports, that new mini display port, which can drive monitors, I think they're saying up to 30 inches. Uh, optical in, optical out, 
and the Kensington lock and that new handy little battery button right there. You can see the battery is, if you can see that light up, see if you can see it in the video. There you go, you can see it just lit up, sort of. There you go. So the battery does come and nicely charged. So let's go ahead and take this out of the plastic here for the very first time. And it really is light and very thin. Um, I'll show you a thinness comparison actually. Again, keeping with the iPhone theme. Here is the iPhone. Put this down on the bed. iPhone, MacBook, in front of it, to the side. You can see that both sitting next to each other. It's the MacBook is really not much thicker than the iPhone. Um, I'm actually very surprised by that. Uh, really, just feels small, light, and uh, feels very sturdy. Let's take the plastic off here and take a look at the computer. And stay tuned to the channel and the website www.johnfordlakers.com. I'll be doing reviews of the trackpad, giving you a more in-depth walkthrough of the hardware. Uh, the backlit keyboard, really everything. Um, I'll be making uh, videos on showing you. So peeling this off here. Light it out from the plastic. Uh, nice to feel aluminum. It really does feel like a mini MacBook Pro. I know that's what a lot of people are saying. Um, the lack of FireWire port is not a big deal, deal for me. I've got an iMac as my primary computer. This is just going to be used for school um, and maybe some light video editing. But I, mean, I can transfer that with uh, wireless or just with USB. So FireWire is not a big deal. Let's go ahead and open it up here for the first time. I'll let you guys see it first before I do. How's it look? Oh, it looks very nice with the 13.3-inch uh, glossy. And you can see the keyboard right there is the black chiclet style keyboard that we've seen on the MacBook Air. And here is the big trackpad with no actual hardware button. The whole thing is a button. See how that feels. Huh, it actually feels pretty good. So I wonder how it'll actually uh, actually function. So I'll do a review on that as well. Um, close it back up again here. And I'll show you guys one last time. And uh, again, be sure to stay tuned to the channel for uh, more reviews and videos on the new MacBook. Um, on the back, one last thing I wanted to show you is the battery is now housed under here with a user accessible hard drive and the RAM is accessible as well with this little latch. Pops right up. You can pull it off. I'll make a video showing that. Um, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the 13.3 inch 2.4 gigahertz uh, new MacBook. Again, my name is John Rettinger, and I'm from johnfordlakers.com. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave questions or feedbacks or things that you want to see in the video, um, and uh, I'll do my best to answer them in an upcoming, upcoming movie. Guys, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. If you guys are interested in hearing more about what I have to say, you can follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash johnfordlakers, and I'll put a link to the Twitter and the website up in the sidebar. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. I'm off to enjoy my new laptop.